soon high school students could be working at your local metal repair shop or even giving your car its next brake change. Students at Eaton Risa attend some special classes at Lansing Community College to get a leg up on their future careers. Newsstand's Justin Ken has more in this week's Schools Roll. Without paying for college classes, high school juniors and seniors in Eaton County get the chance to explore potential career paths. Gavin Muller says some students like to take the automotive class not for a career, but for the information. It has several stripped out bolts in it, and we're just trying to take the bracket off of the car we're going to junk and flip it, flop it onto the car we're going to keep. Just learning how to do your own oil simply can save you a bit of money going in. The auto instructor Eric Schachterly says high school auto shop classes can no longer afford the equipment to work on these cars and so a class for all the high schools to attend is a good option for students with a desire to learn. So basically what it does is it makes it so it's a more affordable program for a high school class. Lincoln, another student who attends the auto classes, says he is just following in his family's footsteps. My grandpa worked at GM for 20 years as well as you know he is a master mechanic, and then my dad, too, liked to work on cars with him. In another classroom, students are learning to weld. Zane McKelvey says learning hands-on is something he is always looking forward to. High school is high school. Things are changing, but I mean, high school is pretty fun, but coming here is the best part of my day, for sure. If you're asking any of the students in the classroom if what they're getting a chance to experience is important, they'll tell you it has changed their lives forever. Yeah, I wanted to go into farming when I was younger. And I didn't really think I'd like welding that much. Uh, and I came here and I love it. I will be joining the 333, the Plumber and Pipe Fitter Union. Probably going to mechanical engineering, working with cars somewhat. After I graduate, I'm going to move back up to Alaska and work on the pipeline up there. Uh, I plan on going hopefully into the automotive industry for the rest of my life. Reporting for News 10, Justin Kent. In March, the technical programs at Lansing Community College will invite some middle school students to visit their classroom and see what options are available once they hit high school. Several hundred eighth graders will tour the classrooms and decide if they would like to take one of those specialized programs. A great